Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora and thank you so much for watching. So for today's video, it is exactly what the title says. I am throwing away thousands of dollars worth of foundation. Thousands. Well, okay, did I pay for the majority of them? No. We are going through my foundation collection. I, as a beauty influencer, get a lot of makeup products sent to me for me to test out, for me to play with, for me to speak on to you guys, to tell you what's good and what's not. And throughout that time, I have accumulated quite a few foundations. A lot of them are foundations that I liked. I haven't really kept products that I just dislike. I, I just basically get rid of it. So I've kept a lot of products, but I don't throw a lot of them away. So a lot of this decluttering is also getting rid of certain foundations that I've just had for way too long of time. So you will be seeing me speak on a lot of different foundations, what I like about them, what I would recommend, any tips and tricks, also what foundations I will be just getting rid of, I'm not really feeling anymore, and what foundations I will be repurchasing. Because there are some foundations that are running low or they might be a little expired, but I still think it's a really good foundation and I want to repurchase it. There's gonna be four major categories of foundations that I will be going through over this video it's gonna be liquid cream powder and stick and for my skin type if you want to know I am very oily especially in my t-zone and I am a bit kind of combination on the sides of my face sometimes it'll be a little oily sometimes it'll be a little dry but it tends to be really normal on my cheeks so if you want to know more about foundations if you just want to like just hang out with me then keep on watching <laughs> Let's begin. Hi everyone, how are you everyone? Can I do this with my glasses on? Can I do this video with my glasses on? Like just don't come for me. Like I feel like I could totally do this video with my glasses on. <gasps> oh my god, I got water on my paper. Do I try to be real professional? I had a little piece of paper. First, let's talk. What this video is basically about, I was inspired by Sister James's video where he kind of like did the swatches of the foundations on himself. And I'm like, yo, I kind of want to like low-key do that because I want to get rid of a lot of foundations that I already have. I feel like I have to do like a clearing out, just like a declutter, just because I've designated my makeup area in my beauty room space and that's all I'm allowed to have. If we can get this video to 10 10,000 likes, I'm totally down to film a full beauty room tour. Because I also wanna decorate this room. Like I wanna like zhush it up. Like make it look real pretty. I feel like that could be like a little journey that we have, right? I am a booty guru, a beauty guru, a makeup lover as one may say on the internet. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to be just testing out foundations. I wanna have like a top 10 foundations that I highly recommend because as a beauty influencer, I am gonna have just a lot more foundations than the everyday person because I do have to test so many products out. I have oily skin, I have pores, like, I have very large pores on my skin. Sometimes I like a dewy finish, sometimes I like a matte finish, sometimes I like light coverage, sometimes I like medium to buildable, sometimes I just want like, stamp i have a little bit of everything and then everything else i'm just gonna get rid of okay everyone so i am not taking off my glasses okay so the reason why i didn't want to take off my glasses is because look at what y'all did to me y'all made me break out i got one here i got one here like y'all left all these comments where like gabriel your skin give her skin and like i feel like y'all gave me ojo <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's your Spanish word of the day, you guys. Ojo is evil eye in Spanish. For my top 10, I can automatically fill the top three spots with the foundations that I always carry in my makeup kit. I just have like a little makeup kit. It looks like this. I did a tour of it, um, a tour of it, a video on it, which I will link somewhere down below. Okay, so I have three foundations in there that I'm always kind of generally carrying with me. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Pore list this one why is it backwards okay so i have previous videos where i have used this i'm obsessed with it i already know that it's my color it's just honestly like my go-to at the moment it's for normal to oily skin i'm in the shade 228 when i want something to kind of give me more of a dewier glowier full coverage effect this has been my go-to recently. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Foundation. I am in the shade Golden Beige. Obsessed with it. And then I like a good stick foundation because it gives me a very skin-like creamy effect. Like it can just look like skin. I'm obsessed with it. Especially if you have oily skin, I highly recommend a stick foundation. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I am in the shades Warm Honey, Sand, and Warm Beige. And it looks like this. So it just melts into the skin. So those three are just automatics, I feel. Okay, now let's go over some foundations that I kind of just have lying around on my desk. 
Fenty Beauty Foundations. I'm not sure exactly which shade right off the top of my head I am because I have 280, 290, 300, 310. But I really, really like it. I feel like, girl, I don't know how long I've had them. So I have this new thing where I have these Sharpies kind of lying around my makeup area where I write dates on foundations that are coming in like this one. I start writing the dates on it so that I know when to throw it away because <gasps> oh, can all brands start doing this? Look, it has an expiration date. Can you focus? Do you see that? Oh, it has an expiration date. Can all brands start doing that? Like, oh, thank God. Okay, I'm not gonna swatch every single foundation, okay? I just do need to throw some stuff away. Like, I have too many things. Things galore. Galore of things. Okay, we need like a timer. Okay, we have 10 minutes because... We don't want to be doing the most. Let's actually find out what my Fenty foundation shade is. I feel like I'm usually 300, maybe I'm 310. So I have a plate. The thing about Fenty is that it oxidizes within like a couple of minutes. Ooh, if it stayed that color, I would live. Let's actually use the Fenty brush. And I can already tell it's actually gonna be darker than what I want it to be. But see, I'm also gonna get tan soon. Cause I'm going to Coachella this weekend. So um, this is 300. I can't even see it on the monitor. Yeah. Oh, I think 300 is going to be the one. Because I know it's going to get like a shade darker, which is ideal because of the skin tone that I want to achieve, which is mine. But then I'm going to apply concealer. Then I'm going to apply bronzer. So I know I can manipulate this color really well. So number 300 is ding, ding, ding. The winner. Okay, that is gonna be definitely a top 10 pick. Okay, another foundation that I recently tried that is kind of like lying around, I think it's because it was my most recent one. This is the new Morphe foundation, the fluidity one, the full coverage foundation. I have the shades F320 and F2110. And I actually really like it. I just can't remember which one I actually liked. I think I'm gonna have to go back and watch my video. Yeah, I really like it. It's a matte foundation. I wanna say it's around $18. Oh, this one only lasts 12 months though. That's interesting. Yeah. And when did I get this? See, I didn't even write a date on it. Let's write something. When did the Fluidity Foundation launch? Let's say it launched in November. Let's just keep it as that. Because I know it launched last year. No, did it launch in January? Okay, so I think it launched in January. So this is from January. It's matte. It's very full coverage. It didn't make my skin react weird. I liked it. And for the budget, I recommend. But you definitely have to go into a Morphe store to be able to test this out. This little window thing does do nothing for you. It just it does nothing for you. You cannot tell what color this really is unless you actually test this out in person. I never really figured out the numbering and the lettering in the back. So I highly recommend, but it's just, it's kind of a little bit difficult to pick your shade. I think with time, it also is a lot easier to pick your shade because I now have become really comfortable with purchasing foundations online because I tend to kind of like know my shade now. And that takes time. That definitely takes time. When it comes to testing out foundations, I like to test out foundations just right here. If you go into like a, I like to go, okay, if you're gonna buy foundations, I think like an Ulta might be a little bit easier because it's not in the mall. So if you go in there, you can kind of like park outside, like come in and like wipe some of that makeup off. Or you can come fresh face, bare face, whatever you wanna do. Cause like, yeah, if you wanna go to like test out foundations and you go into Sephora, like that's in the mall usually. But I mean, I'm, I don't know. It depends on what foundation you want and who carries it, right? Let's test out this foundation real quick. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. And what a shade I am. 475 Sun Beige. That looks a little light. 485 Golden Sun. This could be cute. Well, I guess let's try 475. Why would I live for like an in-between shade? Why did I jump so much? <laughs> I think I need a 480. Well, that's the only three they sent me. <laughs> then I have 470, which I don't think it's gonna like match me. <gasps> Wait, 470? That looks kind of stunning. Mm, that's an interesting scent. It's not bad. Yeah, so we're gonna throw away those two and we're only gonna keep 485 Sun Beige, which is this one back here. I'm gonna have to definitely lighten it. But I low-key like this. I mean, it's my house, my rules, so I'm gonna keep two. <laughs>
Okay, I just grabbed a cute batch of foundations. Some that I'm gonna automatically keep, I'm just letting you know these are amazing. And the reason why I'm gonna keep them is because they're so expensive. The La Mer Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation. I am obsessed with this. I have two, I have shade Sand 23. I don't like this on me, but for some reason when I purchased this, I did. I don't remember what shade I really was because I haven't really worn it in a minute, so I might actually, I'm gonna throw this one away. Oh my God! Oh my God, this is really expensive. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, I feel it. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I'm gonna keep this. Oh my God, it's expensive! Okay, I'm gonna keep this one. This is in the shade Honey 43 and I'm obsessed with it for when I'm tan. It looks beautiful on me and I'm gonna keep it. It's definitely a foundation I recommend. I'm not gonna recommend it in my top 10 simply because it's very expensive. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna throw that away. Like, ooh, it's just like, ooh, it's irking at me. Like, ooh, but I am gonna keep this one. A foundation that I wanna test out. For some reason, I only kept these three. This one is definitely too dark for me. This is mahogany, so I'm gonna throw that away. This is the shade Snow, which is gonna be way too light for me, so I'm gonna throw that away. I am gonna test out the shade Mocha. Ooh, that looks too dark for me. I can automatically tell you. Oh my God. Yeah, I didn't keep any of the right shades. So, damn, I'm gonna use up all my makeup wipes. Hey, if there's any brand that wants to send me makeup wipes. Yeah, that was not it, girl. I'm using the Urban Decay Rebound Spray. It has collagen infused complexion prep priming spray. I don't know. It just feels good. Some of the foundations that I am automatically throwing away, but Burberry Cashmere Long Lasting Flawless Soft Matte Foundation Sunscreen SPF 20 in the shade Warm Honey number 38. The reason why I purchased this one, I don't remember how much this one was, but I think it's kind of pricey because it's Burberry. But my friend Ariel recommended it to me. He's like, oh, this would be perfect on your skin. They have really good undertones for your skin. And I was really obsessed with it. And I've kept the bottle now because it's actually empty. This is one of the few bottles that I feel like I literally went through because I was so obsessed with this. So I'm going to repurchase this. So I am going to write this one down as a repurchase. It speaks highly to my heart, but I'm going to throw the bottle away. Okay, one that I am going to throw away is the MAC Next to Nothing Face Color this is old this is expired like it just it has to go away and it didn't have like the most color so I'm gonna yeah it just it didn't have the most color so I'm not gonna repurchase that I'm gonna throw these away just because I know these are old I don't think I have the new ones this is the NYX total control drop foundation and it's like so separated yeah I just know that these in particular are old so I'm gonna throw them away then I'm also gonna throw this away these are all my like kind of like light coverage foundations I'm gonna throw this away this one is by milk it just I just, this seems really unsanitary to me. So I'm gonna throw that away. Now when it comes to stick foundations, I feel like stick foundations are a lot more ideal for oily skin or very hydrated skin. So if you have dry skin and you run that foundation stick over, it is gonna just not work as great. You definitely have to warm the product as well. So when it comes to spot treating certain areas, I feel like cream foundations just lay really nicely when it comes to like hiding like a pimple or something like that. The foundation that I feel like started my obsession with stick foundations was Tarte whenever they launched these. I'm gonna throw them away simply because I know they're old as yeah, stick foundations have a 12 month shelf life. So you wanna keep that into consideration because it is a cream product. I feel like bacteria can fester on it even more. So you do have to clean it from time to time. This one is the clay stick foundation by Tarte. I mean, if they still have it, I remember I was obsessed with it. Mm, I'm not gonna repurchase it. I am gonna throw it away though. Someone else that has a stick foundation that looks similar to that one. I think this is, I don't know if this is even recent. I remember Sydney had given this to me because she's like, this is not my color. <laughs> this is the Anastasia one, Almond Stick Foundation. This is old too. This is from, like, I remember what apartment I got this at, so I'm like, this is old. So I'm gonna throw that away. Some foundation sticks that I wanna try right now. These are the ColourPop ones. I have the shades Medium 110. That looks very light, but... I mean, to like highlight, that could be actually really pretty. That is not my shade. Medium 81N. What? How is that medium? Why are these also, well, no, they're still too light. Let's see, look, let me see if I try it on right here. Look how dark it looks on there. Isn't that fascinating? Um, I'm only gonna keep medium 90W. But even then, it's like too light. I'm gonna throw the other ones away. Now let's try this side. I'm gonna try the YSL foundation sticks. These are fondant stick foundation. Okay, let's see. That could be pretty. BD50. Wait, how do you make it go up? Is it broken? 
Oh, I guess... I guess I didn't have the right glue on? Ew, I guess I didn't have the right glue on. Ew, uh... Aw, that sucks. Cause this is... Okay, let's see. Stunning. Oh, that's creamy. The Y literally disappeared. BD80, that is way too dark for me, but let's just watch it for fun. <laughs> for fun. That we're just gonna throw away automatically. Ew, this looks ashy. B60. Ew, this smells really good. Oh my God. Oh, this smells really nice. Ooh, that's Ashy the house. God, that smells so good though. Mmm. I like that one. It smells good. The other one's starting to look a little ashy too, but like, let's see this one. This is B65. <gasps> For like a natural contour bit. Oh, I would live. This I'm gonna keep to contour with, and I'm gonna keep that one. So the only two I'm keeping is BD50 and B65. <laughs> One foundation that I do want to mention that I am going to throw away, but I am going to repurchase. I'm going to use one of my saves. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. I have it in the shade 123Y365. That seems like the fakest shade name, 123Y365. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's just, I know it's old, so that's why I'm like, ew, like, I need to buy a new one. In the trash it goes. And then <sighs> some foundations that I'm like, okay, like, I just, I'm not... I'm just not that kind of girl. That's the the cream foundations that are like in a compact. These are the few that I've kept. Um, I don't use them because it kind of like, to me it seems really germy. But to you, if you're like, I don't know, if you want to use them, that's on you. I'm just gonna throw these away. Okay, everyone. So when it comes to a powder foundation, I like that for a very skin-like effect effect to the skin. One of my favorite foundations when it comes to powders is going to be the Cover Effects. I'm definitely keeping this because I actually keep this one in my makeup bag. This is the Cover Effects Pressed Mineral Foundation G plus 40. And then this is what it looks like. I like more so a powder. Like I don't mind a powder foundation. And then I have one in G30 just in case. I'll keep that one as well because... Why not, right? This one I literally just got in the mail. It's $42. Damn, okay. This is by Estee Lauder. Money! They only sent me one. So hopefully it's my shade. <laughs> this is in the shade 4W1. Let me see. That's too dark. Aw, this is really pretty. It looks like skin. No, yeah, like in person, it's reading too dark. I mean, on camera, it's not. So maybe I'll keep it just for like YouTube videos because it's kind of fascinating, actually. Look how pretty that looks. What? How is that even possible? How do you blend that? There's a sponge and velvet side to this. I'm using the velvet side and dry, which makes it more of a medium coverage. In person, it looks dark. I don't like it in person. On camera, I mean, it's reading all right. It's saying it's also it can also be a finishing powder. Yo, and I literally just got it. Well, I think it's also because it's the shade. I just, I only got one. I mean, the packaging was so cute too. Oh, that makes me sad. Like, look, it doesn't even look that bad on camera. It's just in person, I don't like how it looks. I mean, I guess I can put it over like on top of a like light foundation. Oh God, no. Yeah, no, ew, no. I'm not keeping this. Yeah, I just got this. I'm not keeping it. I'm, just, I'm not keeping it. It's so pretty, but it's literally horrible. Oh my God, it's like red in person. Yeah, no. Sorry about it. See, this is Studio Fix. Oh, look at how we covered the pimple, but it's too light. Damn it. Okay, that's the Studio Fix. NC40. That's generally my skin color. Ew. Um, this is the A Cosmetics Your Skin But Better, and it has SPF 50 on it. Ew, it's dark. Ew, and look how ashy it is. Ew. Ew, powder foundation is just not it. Maybe I just have the wrong shades. Ew, and that one kind of like smells gross. Yeah, no, that one's not it. Powder foundation is, I guess I only like one, you know? Like some other ones that I'm definitely throwing away. This is the MAC Mineralized Foundation. This is loose. Ew, that's like too dark for me. Yeah, like it's like too dark. I mean, it looks really pretty, but it's like too dark for me. Then we have, oh, I had tried this. This is a finishing powder by e.l.f. in the shade Light and Medium. I actually recommend it if you are looking for something that's a lot more budget friendly. 
this is what it looks like and someone who has pretty tan medium skin um when it comes to such an inexpensive product sometimes it can turn like a little bit ashy but it really didn't on me especially if you add kind of like a bronzer on top of it you can definitely get away with it this one's just like, old so i'm gonna throw it away um the packaging is really pretty though i just like a mirror one foundation okay these i'm gonna throw away but i definitely recommend um because i've seen a lot of people use them and i've seen it in person and it actually looks really pretty so if you want to get this i i mean if i'm in ulta i'll go back into it but like okay this is well maybe this color actually like look how dark i looked out with all those powders on my face oh my god look 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 Okay, everyone, so I'm probably gonna keep this foundation. This is a powder one. Oh, it has a brush. This is the benefit one. I wanna see what it does. I've just seen a lot of people like use this as like a finishing type of powder. Mm, it's a little ashy, actually. I want it to be more yellow, so I'm gonna throw this one away. And then one that I actually want to repurchase, I'm gonna throw it away because I actually haven't used it and it's pretty old and the Shades are actually a little bit too dark, but I do want to try this. This is the Maybelline Super Save Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder, but it has salicylic acid in it, so it's non comedogenic, comedogenic, non comedogenic, which means you're not gonna, it's not gonna be like super bacteria y, and I really like that, especially for drugstores. So I want to definitely eventually find my shade in that. That's one of the, that's my third product that I'm gonna save that powder one. Oh, that was like Ashi the house. Okay, everyone. So now we're going to go into a more pumpy type of foundation just because I've noticed that these are the foundations I tend to keep way too many shades in, like way too many shades in. Some that I'm going to throw away. These are the gray ones. I don't know why I kept them. These are the It Cosmetics one, the CC cream. I don't like the gray bottle at all. I actually only like the pink bottles. But they recently launched the green-ish type of bottle, which is an oil matte, oil-free matte. This one is dewy. So I have the colors medium tan and tan. Tan looks way too dark for me. So I'm going to throw that one away. But I'm going to keep a medium tan moment. So to test all of these out, let's try a medium tan. Well, what, let me see. I'm going to try medium tan first. That looks way too light. Yeah, that looks way too light. So medium tan is a no. Neutral tan. Oh, that looks kind of pretty. Let's try it on the side. That looks very gray. Ew, that's gonna be a no. The only one I'm gonna try next is gonna be tan because if it's going gray, tan. Gray the house, it cosmetics, no. Those are all being thrown away. That is not tan, ew. I don't recommend. I, we're not keeping those. We're only gonna keep the, the one pink one. Okay, one foundation that I am definitely gonna keep. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Full Coverage Foundation. I highly recommend. I am in the shade Y415. I've used this before. It's one that I definitely recommend, but it does kind of go a little like, goes like a shade darker, so it does oxidize a little more, kind of like the Fenty foundation. It reminds me of the same type of oxidation. Just keep that in mind, but the finish is stunning, so I highly recommend. It's one of my... 2B, 2B ones. The reason why I like a 2B foundation is just because it's super easy to travel with. It's super convenient to travel with. It's just there. You just squeeze it out and you're good to go as opposed to like traveling with like a glass container. I mean, it's just, it's really good. I highly recommend. Oh, this is a good one. MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. It's definitely waterproof. I am obsessed with it. One reason why I really liked it, I have it in the shade NC35. I like it in the T-zone because it keeps that area very matte. Like very matte. Like if you're very oily, like girl, this has got you but it is very full coverage you have to make sure that you really are cleaning your skin after it but it does what it does very well now other foundations that i have way too many of milk oh my god why do i have so many let me see let me try medium ew you have to shake this ew it like threw out liquid ew how is it supposed to be matte though shake before you well i mean this one did say shake before you the way it's separated you guys i'm just like I'm very, like, just grossed out by it. Like, look. Ew. Like, do you see that? Like, the way it's separated? Ew. Like, it's grossing me out. Like, I don't even want to try it. Ew. They all squeeze out weird. Yeah, I'm not keeping these. Okay, you guys. Now to medium coverage foundation. This is a long video. But you wanted to know. 
more of my foundations, right? <laughs> a couple of extra Born This Way foundations. I'm golden beige, so I think I'm only gonna keep a natural beige and then a golden, and then sand and praline. Y'all are too dark for me. <gasps> Elf foundation. This is an oil-free SPF sunscreen foundation. I am in the shade sand. I didn't hate it, to be quite honest. It just has an interesting scent. It's like a little chemically and I'm like, I just don't know if I want to be putting that on my face every day. I'm gonna to toss it just because it's it's been like a year since I used it, so you know, it's elf. Okay, one that I really did like though. This is CoverGirl's Vitalis Healthy Elixir 755. It's really pretty. I have it in soft honey, so I technically can only really use this whenever I'm tan. So I have it for when I'm tan, but this is the only shade I have. I'm gonna keep it though, cause it's really good. Okay, now let's find my shade in Estee Lauder's Double Wear Nude. This is a really good foundation, but I have three. I don't think I need three. I kind of just want to know my main one. Let's try, I have two honey bronze, so they don't even look the same. Let's try this one, you guys. Okay, so this is a bottle. You have to shake this. You know what's so funny? Um, Estee Lauder Double Wear and Fenty Beauty remind me of almost a very similar foundation, except I feel like the Estee Lauder doesn't go as matte, but it goes on very light and it dries and it becomes a shade, a couple shades darker. It definitely oxidizes. On me, I've noticed it. So this is actually a really pretty color. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I don't think I need two of them. So there's one that looks older. I'm gonna throw that one away. Like, look, like the logo is like literally coming off. So I'm gonna throw that one away, but I'm gonna keep this one. But then I have this one, Tawny, 3W1. It's like a shade lighter. Yeah, I'm gonna keep both. Okay, now let's try the, oh girl, it is so separated. Dior. I remember I was so excited when I got this. I was like, oh my God, I'm so bougie. Now I don't even take care of it. Ew, I remember this foundation. I don't like this foundation. God, it's so light coverage though. Doesn't look like it's applying anything. It actually looks whiter. Ew, no. Oh, it smells so pretty though. Maybe I just need a different shade. I don't think it applied anything. Let's throw that one away. Yo, that looks expensive though. I need to be more mindful of what foundations I'm buying. Because I think I bought that one. That one I don't get in PR. Okay, two foundations that I'm gonna be throwing away and I probably won't be buying. Also, they're kind of old. Well, actually, okay. This is the Kim and Aquan one. I used it a couple times. It's cute, it's fun. Never really saw myself reaching back for it. And it's actually super old when it comes to being in my hair. It's like tan me. It's like if I had a tan. Yeah, let's not keep that. It's a little dark. But it's also really old, so that's the only reason why. But I am I do want to buy this one again. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So many people live by it, but look how dark that is. I don't know when I swore I was that color. I don't know when I swore I was that color. Number nine? Yeah, number nine. I am not this color. So I am going to use that as a savvy product. And then now, for the last one in that, we have some Makeup Forever. I have like a bunch of them. One that we can just throw away already. Oh, I don't want to throw this away. It says some more on it. Look how dark that is. When did I swear? I think I threw away the one that said Gabriel on it. Oh, that makes me so sad. Okay, let's see. This is literally one of my favorite foundations. Ugh, I literally forgot about it. Look how beautiful that is. I need to move this up in my makeup. That's beautiful. It's a little dark, so maybe Okay, if I have Y415, try maybe Y405. Oh, that looks very light too. So this is Y405. Yeah, that's too light. So we're gonna get rid of that one because I'm not gonna ever be that shade, but I feel like I can mix them. Y425 is way too dark. Look how pretty that looks though. So I'm gonna get rid of 405 and 425 and I'm only gonna keep 415. Okay, everyone, the last section, the full coverage foundation section. Um, I also realized that I haven't really been swatching on here, so I guess I could have just kept my Hi Everyone sweater on the entire time. But whatevs, we're gonna keep it moving, right, everyone? Okay, so now we're gonna talk about full coverage foundations. One that is super full coverage, Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation. Like it's definitely a foundation you definitely have to shake well. And it's literally like, like there's no shearing out that bad boy. Like I'm just letting you know. And it reminds me a lot of like a Mac Studio Fix moment. 
I feel like MAC Studio Fix Fluid, I've used it so long on my channel. If you don't know about it, it's literally the best. It photographs the best. It's just the best. It's very high coverage, so sometimes your skin can't really breathe in it, but I definitely recommend, especially if you're doing like some sort of like photo shoot or something with like HD, highly recommend. This is like my go-to like high quality shooting, like with the, like when it's high quality, this is the one. It's a little tingly, is that weird? Okay, Jouer Essential Live. Live, live, live. I'm gonna keep it. Oh, it has hyaluronic acid in it. I didn't know that. And it's matte. I'm gonna keep it because I actually like the option. So I'm gonna let that sit on my skin. Okay, some foundations I'm gonna throw away. I have these BH Cosmetics foundations that I never used, never reached for. I don't even know what these colors are, so. I'm only gonna keep this one just because it's my color. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfection Foundation. This is a two-in-one. I just really don't reach for it anymore. This is definitely not my color anymore when it comes to contouring anything I don't like. No. I'm gonna keep this one because I do like the coverage on it. The only thing that like I just don't like is it's like a wand type of moment. So like, you know? Isn't that pretty though? Gonna keep that one. And then, okay, I'm gonna probably throw these away, but I definitely recommend buying just because I think these are old. These are the Milani Conceal Perfect 2 in 1 Foundation. This is full coverage on a budget. If you can find these, full coverage on a budget. Look, these are like the same color, so let's swatch at the house. Ugh, I remember at one point I was using this for like an entire month. I could not stop using it. That's definitely not my color anymore, so we're gonna just throw those away. Okay, while we're at it, let's test out the Tarte foundations. I have all six from the original launch, and I never really tested out the color, so let's test them out. Okay, let's see. This is Tan Sand in Hydrating Foundation. This is Medium Tan Honey in the Hydrating Foundation. And then this is Medium Honey. That's a very light. So I think I'm only gonna keep the middle one. And then the other ones, let's see. Cause I wanna like play more. So I like having fewer options. This is medium tan honey in the matte version. Oh, well that's not a bad match. This is light medium honey. That's very light. We can already tell we're gonna get rid of that. <laughs> That's too light. Oh my god. And then this is medium honey Why is that so light? Yeah, so we're only gonna keep the first one the medium tan honey this color I only kept these two. Okay, the last foundations I want to try this is the Laura Mercier flawless fusion ultra longwear foundation I've actually never tried this one. Well, have I? I don't know, this is like literally the only one I have, so I don't know what it's really like. So let's test it out. Well, that's yellow. That's literally yellow. I've never had a foundation look so yellow. I'm gonna just toss that one. Okay, one foundation that I actually really like, but for some reason I have five of. This is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I can already tell I'm not gonna be this color. This is G80. Let's try G60 Plus. I really like this foundation because it feels really nice on the skin. It feels almost like velvety and it literally is like a pump out like that. So it's kind of like super sanitary. That looks a little, a little off. G60 Plus, maybe a G60 more yellow. No, I don't even know what that is. It's just a little bit lighter. Hmm. I mean, these are better than that, but like, these are kind of sad. What about G50? Maybe I'm looking for a G50 moment, right? I can fuck up a G50. I can fuck up a G50. G70 is gonna be too dark. I'm gonna keep a G50 and then the G60 plus. The G60 I didn't live for. And those are the last two. Oh my God, this is the end. Okay, you guys, and that is the end of this video. If you want to know what foundation I'm wearing right now, it was actually in the video. It's the Morphe one. I actually used F2110, and that's how the skin came out. If you guys like this video, if you like this, which should we make this a series? I'm already calling it a series, but I kind of like, I'm already looking at my makeup collection and I'm like, hmm. What else can I declutter? Because this was really productive. I got to get rid of a lot of old foundations. I got to kind of like hang out with you and tell you kind of my thoughts, my opinions, and my take on 
a lot of my foundations, a lot of foundations within the beauty industry. So if you like this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and you hit that notification bell so you can be notified exactly when I upload a brand new video. And if you have any questions about any of the foundations, um, leave them down in the comment section down below. If you have any foundations that you recommend, leave those in the comment section down below. I have a lot more room now for my foundation. So, oh my God. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. Oh, look, do you want to see the plate with all the foundations? <laughs> Bitch, this is like art. This is literal art. Art. Oh, look, do you want to see how many foundations I'm throwing away? Let me show you. What I'm about to show you, you cannot judge me for, okay? And then look, this is how many I'm keeping. I'm actually keeping a lot less than I'm actually throwing away. That means I had way too many products. Okay, I love you everyone. Bye everyone.